A dog adopted from a triangle rescue has had quite the journey after disappearing for a year and a half. Chipper got lost in May of 2020. He was found just last month, but that isn't the only remarkable part of his story. Hi, buddy. What you doing? Behind these eyes. If I could get this dog to talk for 30 minutes. Lies a story much bigger than this little beagle. Triangle Beagle Rescue took him in as a puppy, but he quickly found a new home with Jason Blue. That's when he became Chipper after Chipper Jones. He was a big Atlanta Braves fan. Susie Blue, Jason's mom, volunteered with the rescue, and they all enjoyed keeping in touch. No one ever thought Jason and Chipper's time together would end so soon or so sadly. My son unexpectedly passed away in February of 2020. I remember exactly where I was standing when I got that phone call and um, tears streaming down my face. The pup once again went up for adoption with the provision. Chipper comes with a grandma. Susie, who had moved to Florida, couldn't take Chipper herself, but wanted to stay in touch with whomever adopted the dog her son loved so much. And that was just fine with Amani Kasim. I would always send her pictures of Chip. She updated Susie on their adventures as they moved to Georgia. But shortly after arriving in May of 2020, Chipper got away. I was absolutely heartbroken, and I was like, I have to be the one to tell Susie, like, I lost Jason's dog. I was heartbroken for them because I knew how much they loved him and cared for him. They all did everything they could to try to find him, but months passed. And I knew, like, I'm not getting Chip back. I never let my head go to that place where he wasn't with somebody and he wasn't safe. Still, no one really believed they'd see Chipper again until this November. I saw an email saying, uh, Chipper's microchip, like, has been scanned. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, that doesn't, he's been gone a year and a half, like. 538 days after he disappeared, and some 500 miles away, Chipper turned up in Florida. He was in a shelter about four and a half hours from me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I will go get him. My heart was just overjoyed. And when Amani made it to Susie's house to get him. I mean, we were both in tears. <laughs> They'll likely never know where Chipper was for so long or how he turned up at a Florida shelter. But Susie has a theory. I mean, I just feel like all that was orchestrated by my son. He wanted him to be home and happy. And he is home and happy. Amani still sends Susie pictures of Chipper and all involved say they're really grateful that he was microchipped because that's how they were notified he was found. They say wherever he was, it seemed like he had been well cared for.